Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and I'm coming at you today on a job site. I'm here in Mexico. You can see I'm kind of sunburned a little bit. Have the uh, ranch in the background. We're in the middle of a pasture over here. And what we're doing is surveying a Maya site, probably a homestead where somebody lived. And uh, the reason that I'm making a video is I've worked with a lot of folks recently who've struggled with collecting data on ground surfaces that have a lot of pebbles and rocks on them. I know a lot of folks that I talk to in Maine all the time uh, struggle with this problem. And so I wanted to kind of just bring you here into my world for a minute and show you what we're doing. Because you have, as you can see here, we have a, a mound. And under that mound is a lot of architecture. Um, and you can see if we come up close on it, there's tons of pebbles all over the place. And so what we did, one way that you can kind of deal with this a little bit is using a survey wheel instead um, and over here instead of a, a, a you know a uh, instead of a, a cart using one wheel on the back allows you to keep the antenna on the ground much better when you have pebbles and roots and all sorts of other stuff so it's a little bit slower of a process but you can see that it's super helpful. The setup's a little bit longer, it's a little bit slower of a data collection, um, but there's a lot less what we call decoupling of the antenna from the ground surface. And so, you know, what we're doing here is keeping the antenna as much in contact as possible. We still get kind of some ups and downs, but using a survey wheel can be very, very helpful when you're dealing with terrain that is just littered, right, with uh, uh, pebbles and rocks and all sorts of other other things here we have a lot of roots on the ground and so as you come up on that stuff it's easier to kind of maintain contact if you use a survey wheel it's used less with folks who are in utility locating but it's something that you might want to try if you are in an area that you have that kind of surface um, it can really be a problem so I appreciate you tuning in um, go ahead and if you liked the video if you felt it was helpful send it around to somebody who might benefit from it subscribe to the channel and make sure to pop over to learngpr.com put your name and email address in and we will send you training videos every single week all right thank you have a good survey